Hi guys, welcome to another episode on Power BI. In this video, we are gonna explore different types of slicer and their properties with the help of an example. Let's go to PBX file and get started. Here is the file and you can see I've created various kinds of slicer. So let's go one by one. So the first one is the basic slicer. So I have used the uh, built-in slicer feature, which is available in Power BI. So I'm not gonna spend more time on this. The only difference here is between the regular slicer, uh, horizontal and the vertical is, if you go to the properties here under slicer settings, you can see the orientation. In this case, it's uh, vertical. So if you notice here, when I click on this one, the orientation is horizontal. So that's the only difference. And I have changed the colors. So the, by default colors, I've changed it to blue. So we can change the uh, colors under this section. So if you want to change the font, you can change it here. And if you want to change the background color, you can see here I've changed it to blue. So let's move to the next one. So before I move to the chiclet slicer, one of the limitation of this regular slicer is you don't have an option to control how many uh, rows or columns you need to show. As in when you uh, increase or decrease the size, the number of rows will increase and it will decrease. So for the sake of example, when I increase this, you notice here, so the number of rows increased. And if I make it smaller, it becomes one or one column. And as I expand, it, it increases. So there is no, no way you can limit it directly. So let's move to the next one that is chiclet slicer. So this is not a default slicer. So what I've done is I've imported this slide. So by clicking on get more visuals and then it appears here. So the more, uh, the chiclet slicer is 1.6.3. So the main uh, advantage of this particular slicer is, uh, let me show you the properties. So if you click on the properties here, so we have the properties pane here. So under the general, you can you also have the option to change orientation, vertical and horizontal. Let me click on horizontal. Let's see what happens. So it's it's gonna uh, it's not gonna make big difference. I'll keep it as vertical. And the, one of the greatest advantage of this chiclet slicer is you can tell how many columns you need. So in this case, I have three. So I can make it four, or I can still keep it as three, or oh, not three. And again, you can limit how many rows you need to show. So in, if I remove everything, I can see all the rows. If not, if let's say if I select three, I can only see three rows. So for this, for now, I'm gonna remove this filter. And there are like other option as well, multiple selection for selection, the header to be turned off. You can change the chiclet color, size, uh, font color, etc. There are like variety of options as well, okay. Let me minimize this. And then I have other in, uh, other properties as well. So you can see, I can increase the size, I can position. Let's see what we have in the advanced option. We also have the maintained layout order. And then you can change the title. You have the option to uh, have the background effects. And also you have the important feature where you can use your uh, customized function to change the background color. That's cool. And now let's move to the other uh, slicer, which is called as attribute slicer. And again, this is not available as a default. So what I have to do is get more visuals and then import this attribute slicer. So one of the greatest, greatest feature of this is you have something like a horizontal chart here, right? So you can remove this if you don't need to see this, but if, uh, if uh, the business users ask, okay, they want to sort it based on, uh, the group, particular group, which has the highest number in the descending order, you can still use it. And also you have an option to sort it. So you can sort your access based on your name or quantity. So if I remove this, let's see what happens. So I can remove and you can see the default list. Let me undo this. Okay, so, and also uh, let's see what are the options we have in the properties. So you, you also have an option to color by, by certain fields. I'm not gonna go into details. And then we have the option to change this text size, fonts, etc. And then you have the option to change how it, it needs to be displayed, whether it's a horizontal or vertical. So yeah, that's a cool feature. And again, you have option to hide empty items as well. 
And again, there is one more option here. You can select single select or multiple select. And uh, we also have a brush mode. I think I like this feature very much. So when I click on this brush mode, I can simply drag and then all this gets selected. And also you can see we have a clear all option here. So it's a cool feature. So I think uh, there are like a lot of things to explore here. And again, uh, you have the option to change the properties here, uh, FX as well. And also you can change the background color. And now let's move to the next one that is three map slicer. This is not actually a slicer, but it's a, a visualization. Uh, it's called a tree map. So it's here. So it's somewhere here. Yeah. So a tree map. So we can still use this as a slicer and it would function uh, in, in, in a good manner. So I can select this one and use notice the particular if there is no data. And let me select something like a touring bike. Do I have this somewhere? Okay, I don't see. Okay, let me click on road bikes. So you can see it gets it, it acts like a slicer. And uh, if you want to change the color, right? So in this case, it's it's picking up the default color. So what you can do is you can build a customized function here. So I have already built something called like a color. So if, if you see here, this is something which I have already customized it here. So I have called out like if there is a touring bike, I need orange road bikes, then blue, the mountain bikes, it's a violet. So if I want to change this here, what I can do is simply click on this visual, go to the uh, format tab, and then in the color section, I'm gonna use this advanced control feature, click on that function button, and then a new window pops up. Let's give it a couple of seconds. And then here I'm gonna pick the field value and then I will select the color. And this is the one. And if you notice here, the color will change based on the uh, the function and the criteria which I've mentioned here. So this is a cool feature. And then let me remove this now. Let me clear this. And then the next one of the important feature is, let's say, uh, if you want to uh, change the size based on the values, so we have, we still have an option here. So what I'm gonna do is, so values, let me remove the one which I have here. So let me remove the tooltip as well. So what I'm gonna do is I will use the order quantity. So when I drag and drop to the values, you can see how the, the blocks change according to the order quantity. So the highest spring touring bikes takes the first place and followed by the jerseys, etc. And if you don't want this feature, you can still use this size. So this is size I have put like one as a default so I can remove this size and then simply use it so that you have equal blocks. So this is how we can explore the different slicers here. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any doubts or suggestions, please drop me a note in the comment section. And thanks for watching.